Hey, what's up, gang? <clears throat> Let's talk about one of the greatest sets of all time, in my opinion. Maybe the greatest football set, 1990 Pro Set. Um, it's a set that, you know, when it came out in 89, it was uh, pretty well received. It wasn't as, it hasn't held up as much as 89 score, uh, but it gave uh, collectors a kind of a new option uh, besides tops. And um, it was something that was that was interesting. It was considered a a, a living set, which meant um, the set would just continue to grow, and it, and it grew a lot. Um, but it was a big set. It was a series one and a series two. It was one of the first times in football <clears throat> that there were like chase cards and you know different inserts that you could find that were supposedly rare. But the big thing about 1990 Pro Set is tons of errors lots of errors um just about every card has some sort of error some are rare some are not rare there and some are just uncorrected we'll go over a couple of those but i just wanted to go over um, short videos here i wanted to go over some of my favorites uh from pro set uh this one is the uh 1990 pro set super bowl card but it's in the 1989 design which always was weird to me but it's for Super Bowl 24, um, and the 49ers won in New Orleans. Uh, but it's the only one, only card in the set that has that old 89 logo. So you have uh, Andre Risen in Series 1 and Series 2. Uh, in Series 1, this was a card that Andre Risen had, except it was missing this traded stripe. So uh, you got this in Series 2 with the traded stripe and a letter from the uh, owner of Pro Set, uh, and this was his actual Falcons card. Um, but some of my favorites, uh, you had Joe Montana, obviously, uh, Troy Aikman, Randall Cunningham, Warren Moon, Bo Jackson, Christian Okoye, and Thurman Thomas, big time Super Bowl legends, Tecmo Super Bowl legends. Um, Andre Reed was another guy for the Bills. Uh, Reggie White. This was uh, Derek Thomas the year after the rookie year. His rookie was in 89 uh, Pro Set. Then you had two Falcons, and I love these red jerseys. I don't know why they don't bring them back. Uh, but we had Dion, his second year card, and then Tuggle, Jesse Tuggle, his third year card. But um, some really cool Falcons cards there for a Falcons collector like me. Uh, one of the cards that I will just never forget from Pro set. It's, it's kind of burned in my mind was the uh, drawing. Uh, there was there were some drawing inserts, uh, but this one of Joe Montana just is burned into my brain and I'll always remember it. Um, then the rookies. <clears throat> you had Jeff George, who was the big rookie at the time. Um, you had a Junior Seau rookie, which was pretty strong. Um, then you had a Percy Snow, which you may not have collected, but I was a big Percy Snow fan. Um, thanks to Tecmo Super Bowl. And then now the big rookie uh, is the Emmett Smith. Uh, so that's his rookie in, in 90 Pro Set. There were some inserts. Uh, there was a Santa Claus card. The In Series 1, the only uh, chase card is the holographic um, Super Bowl trophy, Lombardi trophy. But in Series 2, there was a, a superhero called Super Max Pro or something like that. And there was a Santa Claus card, which a lot of people know what that looks like. I've never pulled one of those. I've pulled the Super Pro. Uh, and then the other was uh, Payne Stewart, which I pulled in my most recent box that I opened, so I had one out to, to look at. Um, and it was just a kind of a special insert card of Payne Stewart. So some cool things to chase in Pro Set. That, there were a lot of fun. But then you have the errors. Um, I mean, just to give you an idea, uh, Andre Ware is missing the stripe uh, for his draft card. Sterling Sharp. It says he was born in Glenville, Georgia on the back instead of Chicago, Illinois. Um, another missing the stripe. Um, then you had a Joe Montana that had, it was just a, an issue with uh, Jim Kelly's yardage on the back. Um, and so the big error is the Fred Marion, and we won't cover what the error is. I have not pulled it, but um, look that one up if you want to. Uh, but to close out this video, I have 
pulled. I have I have purchased this card because I've never pulled it. Um, what is supposedly one of the rarest 1990 Pro Set errors. Um, <clears throat> it is uh, it's weird to say that because it's a rare card in a well overproduced set. So this is the first time seeing of it, but I was going to open it for the uh, for the camera. Um, and again, I, I bought this one because it's not something that just uh, appears a lot in packs. Um, it is the fairly normal looking Pro Bowl card of um, Eric Dickerson. And it's uh, card number 338. And the deal with the Dickerson card is he was in a, I want to say it was a legal, -ish, legal fight with... Uh, with using his name and things like that. And I don't think they had permission to print the card. So they printed the card though, and then they quickly went back and uh, replaced it in the set with another card of 338. So most of the 338s I've pulled, and I wish I could tell you what it was. Um, most of the 338s I've pulled, you know, all of them <laughs> are the uh, a corrected version. But the Eric Dickerson, this is a uh, pretty rare, um, so it's going to go in my rare junk wax stack, but, um, that's, uh, that's your 90 pro set, um, fun set, uh, really affordable. Um, you can get these boxes anywhere from 20 to $30, lots of cards to go through, lots of hall of famers, rookies, superstars. Um, so if you haven't ever purchased or ripped 1990 pro set, which I'm sure most people have, I'd highly recommend giving it a shot. So. Peace out, gang.